Mary, did you know your baby boy one day rule all nations? Did you know your baby boy, heaven's perfect lamb, that sleeping child you holding is the grave? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I would say, holy is the Lamb. Holy is the Lamb. And land. he's worthy mm -hmm. of the praise. Yes, he is.
the Lamb. Jesus is the Lamb that was slain. Thank you for that. Now we're going to bring uh, John Buckley into the picture, and I'm going to change seats here. And while you all are getting set up for that second medley, uh, Charlie, I have uh, discovered one more passage of scripture okay. that I've I've got to read to my to my uh, television viewers. It comes out of Ephesians chapter five, uh, verses nineteen and twenty. And the reason why I'm reading this passage of scripture is because <clears throat> I understand that a lot of people don't know the part that music plays in the worship of God. And verse 19 says, speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual song, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. You've got to have a connection with the Lord Jesus Christ in order to sing gospel, Christian gospel songs. I don't care how nice a voice you have. If there's no connection to the heart, you're just singing in vain. It sounds good, uh, uh, but it's not going any place. Now verse 20 says, giving thanks. Here we go. The music that we sing, Brother Oliver, that we play is a form of giving thanks, a form of worship, a form of praise to the Lord. Giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father. Now listen to this. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. There's no way that you can disconnect the Lord Jesus Christ from the worship of God. Know Jesus Christ in your life. No worship of God. Take it away, Charlie, for this, for this other. Now we're going to switch to sex. Praise the Lord. 